One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is a gorgeous 2000 Chevrolet 2500, C2500, I think it's not a K. And um, it's got nice, I don't know, I won't, I don't want to say new tires, but man, they just about as close to new as you're going to get with the gear vendors over under drive on it. Nice crew cab truck LS model. Um, I'm going to go around and just do a quick walk around. This is going to be an exterior review. And I'll tell you what, Lily was going to come over with me. If you watch any of my videos, well, if you know who she is. If you don't, well, you should be watching my videos. But she's going to come over, man. It's like 100 out here, man. I'm sweating like crazy. And I just told her, you stay here. It's cooler there. There's a nice breeze. She's going to be out here in the sun. But she does good helping out, running tractors, pulling cars around, and you'll see her. She says, can you please talk about me in the video? And I says, well, no. I'll tell them that Lily was too lazy to come. But she wasn't. She got her shoes on. She's ready to come, but it's just too hot. So, the car, I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a cool truck, the gear vendors over underdrive is quite an addition to your truck. You can check this out on my website, oneownercarguide.com. There'll be about 50, 60 pictures on there and a full video, video, blah, 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 a full video. The interior video I did last night, I'm gonna start showing you dings. There's a ding right there. I guess that'd be more like a dent. A dent ding, a da ding. It's starting to show a little wear on the Chevy sign. Underneath, I'll tell you what, man. It's a clean truck. You know, a little patina -y stuff on the wherever you get paint flicked off. Chrome is all in great shape. Bumper's nice and straight. Starting to get this shrinkage here and here. Like you'll get on these gear of a truck. They just do that. A uh, little slice here. Like that. Now you don't have that there. It's gone, just like that. Yeehaw! Body work. A little groovy dent. That's a groovy dent, I tell you. A chippy scratch. They kind of scratched the chip. I got my own names for this stuff, I'm telling you. A little scuff there. That's just a regular name. I didn't make that one up. That's a watermark. A little tiny crack right there. His hands are filthy. I'm sorry. I've been working on stuff all day. Trying to leave. Get back to Montana. Little dings in the fender molding. Wheel wells. Great condition. Clean as can be. Very clean truck. Like I say, these tires. Little titties all over the side, man. They just put them on. It's just nice. Uh, the truck is just clean. So, down the sides, I'm gonna show you there's a ding there. There's a little scratch there. Scuffy, scuffy scratch right there. I'll show you the other side too. And going back, I just seen a couple more things. I'll show you coming forward. Little stuffs here. This kind of stuff, a lot of it will probably buff out. Not bad, it's a scratch. Here and there on the truck, not perfect. Dent ding thing in that piece. Cracked the paint a little, and he really got a dent in that. So, no rust or nothing, clean as can be, but ding, scuff, more of a scratch. And like a lot of that, look, it's a scuff, man. My guy's like, no, buffing it won't help. Well, you know, buffing it indeed would have helped because look what's happening. It's just crazy how well, that one come off too. You know what? I should do this over. Seriously, I, I'm, I'm selling myself shirt. Shirt, shirt, one, two, three dings. Uh, chrome railing across this, stainless, whatever you want to call it, diamond plate. Um, I'm moving and I've got to move in the place where my Valvoline trailers are. Well, I'm moving, that's my storage lot that I export with. And I'm getting kind of moved. Scuffs, scuffs, ding dent, dent, kind of a denty dent, dent, inside a dent, a little dent. Tailgate, got a couple of dents. As you can see, the Chevrolet vinyl is worn. The surrounding piece is gone. And the little plastic pins here are getting worn to where you need lube or something and you got to pull, put a plier in there and the tailgate will open right up. Got the bed liner in it. Well, the, you know, the sprayed on rhino type lining. And it's got the fifth wheel hookup. If you want the hitch with it, I've got one. Um, miscellaneous dings in the fender wells, like any truck you use would have. But overall, it's very clean. Um, DZ probably did this stuff. And maybe the rhino lining stuff. I don't know. And I don't know if it's actual rhino lining. Two different brake controllers. 
flat blades and the four point or four prong. I don't know what you call them. Nice hitch. Five and ten weight distributing ten thousand pounds. Tongue weight one thousand. All kinds of different info for you to find out there. Plastic pieces are in great condition. Kind of backed into something there. I hope the wind ain't too loud on this. I'm gonna pop out behind and show you a couple things on this side. Fading going on this stuff. In fact, not just fading, this top piece here gives off and you gotta kinda get it started and then just take them off. Take them off with a little razor blade. Just kinda, you, what are you gonna do? I mean, they're just flipped up. Take your time to rip them off and they look better at the end of the day. That's my opinion. Little scuffs, scratches, stuff like that. Scuff, 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 scuff. Same thing going along with this, same thing going along with this. You get all that crap off there and you can even sand it down and paint it. Ding here, miscellaneous scratches, ding here. Third brake light is inside, most likely the lens piece is pulled through. Yep, maybe a washer could fix it, but you can see the piece there is pulled through. Maybe you could glue it on if that's what you really wanted to do, because it is in a surrounding. Um, so that's your choice. Buy a whole new fixture pretty cheap on these. So, really boom scratches and scuff. See, that would buff out, man. That would just buff right. Look at that. Gone, almost. It is. Jeez. This should have been buffed. Ding here. Look at this might even See that? Much. Oh, my goodness. Look at that finger buffing. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. And this is just something on the paint. Oh, the price of this thing is going up every day. I'm going to have someone say, you're rubbing on the nail. The price is going down. Whatever, buddy. I just got some scuffies out. Ding here. That ain't buffing out. That won't buff out. Okay, so that's the outside of the truck, pretty much. Up top, I want to show you that. Got some fading starting. Going on with the clear coat. It's starting to release the pigment of the paint. How do you call it? And it's just not in the shape it should be. Just not. So that's that. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna hop in and take you for a test drive. Did the interior and under the hood review last night. I'll put them both up. Um, this might be a little hard to hear in. Fires up and all that with no special warnings or nothing. Um, codes, check engine, nothing like that. This actually has a code, it's locked. AC is cold as can be in this thing. That's why I'm going to say it might be hard to hear because I'll tell you what, man, it's hot today. Very, um, what would you call it? Three quarter, one ton ish feeling. It's got a very solid frame under it and it's different than a half ton, that's for sure. And you can feel the different gear ratio too. Um, I didn't know it was a 57350 Vortex or whatever. I thought it was the bigger motor. Now, it's got a little boing on the brakes. Brakes work great. All of a sudden though, they'll not really work. They'll kind of let off a little bit. And, but they're working, but you really got to mash on them. Go ahead, bud. I'll let you go. Just go ahead, bud. You really got to mash on them, but not really a lot. Just more than you should have to, is what I'm saying here. So, I don't know. There's three possibles. We'll go with the cheapest first. Probably the master cylinder. Um, second, well, bleeding them in something might be first, but there's master cylinder. Oh man. I'll tell you what, it shifts nice. That's up to speed limit, like right now, it's 45 and I let off a bit. Um, it's a good turning truck. Um, I'm gonna turn this AC down now. Maybe you can hear me better. It's just hot, I'm sorry. Can't, I can't handle it, I can't handle it. Got all kinds of stuff in the mirror there. Hey, there I am. But no, I'm trying to show you this stuff. Steering with elbow. The downshift is great. Now I have no clue how the gear vendor over under drive works. I know I'm going down the road at up to 40 miles an hour around 1,000 RPMs. So, and I know it seems like it shifts a lot different, but I'm not sure exactly how that Gearbenders works. It's got an over-under drive, 
And from what I understand, it splits the gears, and they have an automatic and a manual way to shift it. I know nothing about that. I know the trailer brakes are all hooked up. Yeah, so that's nice to have on your truck in case you want to pull a boat or a trailer or something. And I'll tell you, this thing will pull the bark right off a tree. It's a powerful little truck. And it's a nice truck. These tr oh, that's one thing I noticed. Your blinker, it doesn't auto click off when you're turning. I know I've shown you the corner of the cab there or something, but right there, push on the brakes and it'll go right past it. So first could be master cylinder, second could be power booster starting or something, or ABS module, but you'd think an ABS module would flash a code in this kind of here. That's right, I didn't even hardly push on it. But I'm gonna push on the brakes really hard and there's no problem all stopping and there was no lag in the thingy thing. Let's get back in the road now. Nice Ford. And I know if you're a Chevy person, sorry, I'm doing a Chevy review. But sometimes you come up to a light and it's just in that point. And I'll tell you, I can't get the thing to do it most of the time. But when it does, you know it, you just push on a little harder, it works fine. Uh, but I'm, I'm straight up front about everything wrong with the truck. And there ain't much wrong with this truck. We've driven it around. I went and picked up a chair this morning in it, did some errands. Man, I'll tell you what, it goes. I mean, come on, 50, 45 at 1,200 RPM, that don't seem right. Okay, bud. I was only going the speed limit. Okay, so here we go, back to the place. I've got a lot of cars for sale right now, and I'll make a deal on it. Boy, did you hear the boing? It'll push that brake back at you. I wasn't stopping, it wasn't messing with the way I stopped it. I just lightly had my foot on the brake, and it boinged it back at me. I'm getting ready to get out of here. That excursion we've been loading all day, been loading cartons and stuff to put on it. I'm gonna park this right here. Actually, I'm gonna put it in here. I got more stuff I can show you in here. Check this out, here we go. Bunk across the, across the trough. Look at that little Starfire. I got all kinds of cars in here. I'm gonna put this thing in here. Both blinkers work, all that. Um, AC's cold as can be. Heater goes to town. And I did not remember, yes, where we have the books. Bunch of personal registration and stuff. But the books are here. Cover slipped off this one. Back page. In fact, that's the front page. And it's all here, though. It's where you can find out all about your truck. All about your warranty. That no doubt's over. But there's recall. It's nice to have. There's that. There's that. Little pocket up there. I didn't have it before. Door handles and all this stuff has not fallen apart on this truck, which is really, really rare for a Chevy. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing. I'm going to show you the outside of it. Um, Lincoln Town Car is going to Estonia. Mustangs for sale. I got a Dodge 4x4 over here for sale and a Dodge Crew Cab Dually. Uh, what Starfire is telling you about. Mercedes 420, S420, got the Coupe 500, and a little Beamer convertible, all kinds of stuff. This stuff has to go and I'll sell it cheap, Hemi Magnum. But here you are looking at this truck, and here I am telling you to give me a call, Nathan, 406-546-8748. And you can check out my website, oneownercarguy.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Again, oneownercarguy.com. Subscribe, get some notifications, click that little bell down there. That way you get notifications. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is a really nice Chevy 2500 or C2500, I think you'd call it. And it's got a gear vendors over under drive in it. This truck is sweet. There's a ding or a dent here or there. And I'm going to go over this and show you that in the exterior video. This is going to be an interior video. You can see there's a tiny ding here in the front and I'm doing the exterior tomorrow but just little couple things like that um, you could redo the headlights if you wanted and get that little Walmart kit tires are nice and recently replaced and it's just a great truck I'm showing you the outside to kind of give you the view in the evening time to where you can see how the truck looks now um, this is gonna be interior and I'm gonna go over pretty much every detail of that and show you all the interior and under the hood Test drive will be tomorrow, and yeah, that's pretty much the deal. 
If you're interested, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, you can go on there and check out pictures of it. And I take a lot of pictures. Hey, look at these tires. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, look at all the titties on the side. Like a titty bar up in here. Okay, let's get to the interior. Let's just get right to it. Um, annoying buzzer. Works fine. Hardly any wear on the pedal or anything. Floor mats and everything are in good shape. Carpets underneath are in good shape. Seats, great. Not all ripped up or anything. Seat belt, could use a little cleaning maybe. Um, I see a light spot there where maybe he got in with his keys a lot, but it's not wore through anywhere. It's just getting light. Um, you got your center console with your flip out clipboard. So when you're a boss, you can have your boss type stuff. Um, these work, but this one side is a little getting loose, as you can see, so as they all do. Now, this Chevy inside is really holding together well. Now, one thing I noticed is this light, the main light is not coming on, so it must be a, a bulb, we would think. Let's see. See, it works like that. So it might be unhooked from the door somehow. There's probably a... There you go. Boom. Ha! I just learned something. By this year, you get the dome override if you want. And when you pop that, it kicks them all on. Huh. Learn something new every day, I tell you. 152 wide. It's in great shape. Runs good. Look at all this stuff. Door panels. Great shape. Window switches. Great shape. Look how nice these are. And this one's not broken. All that stuff, all this stuff falls off on a Chevy. Um, that's discolored a little. You could, it's rubberized, man. You can clean it up. If you wish. Door seals, everything good. It's an LS model, as you plainly see. These could have a knot tied in them. No, they're not. Because then you'd have a more concurrent thing, which is what it needs as they get stretched out. Just kind of whammy whammy, put a knot in it, and you'll have a nice watch. Now, this is the kind of stuff I would normally do. I was detailing myself and it makes a lot better job than having it sag and it won't sag once you do that cool little trick um, third brake light in the back seat so bam it goes right there it looks like it's a little chewed off on the top of it headliner is in great shape behind these seats I haven't looked behind these seats I don't have a clue, I don't have a clue what's behind these seats what is that Wow Whoa, tow mirrors, baby. Whoop, whoop. And they come with it. Do they come with it? Let's just slide this on here. Let's see how this looks. Oh. oh wow. I bet that's for the other side. That's what I'm thinking. Hang on. You're learning with me. You're learning with me. Looks like there's little clamps down there for them. Let's see. This has to go on this side. I bet it's right. <laughs> Look there. Now that is one classic little slick mirror. I like that. These aren't all busted apart. Door handles are in good shape. Someone took care of this. Um, yeah, it's in good shape. Okay, cool stuff. Floors in the back. Actually, it doesn't even look like anybody used it back here. So pull the wheel with it. As you can see there. Bed's a little wobbled from throwing stuff in it and everything. Little dings, as you see. Well, we're not here for the outside. That's tomorrow. See dingy dings. Kids' seats in it right now. No problems there. I'm trying to hide or nothing. In fact, I kind of need to take a picture of this side. Got that. So you can see the door panels. You know, I didn't show you under the hood, and I didn't pop it. Door panels are in great shape. Carpeting, great shape, and I haven't really shown you yet. A little discoloration there. But the dash is in great shape. A little crack right there. Yeah, a little bit of a bigger one right there. I put something on it to stop it from spreading. Gear vendor over underdrive. Let me get my key out. I don't think it beeps with the passenger door open. And this one all kicks on and goes. And it's when you're in and going, it splits the gears. I don't know exactly how gear splitting goes, but I'm not going to reach over and pull that down. 
find out or nothing. So that's your gear vendors over under drive. I'm gonna pop the hood from over there. Dash is in great condition. Door panels, I'll show you under the hood. Absolutely gorgeous day. Absolutely gorgeous day. Look at all the birdies out there. I think they are all doves. Holy smokes. It's about time to go dove hunting. They're all there. I don't even know if you can see that, this lens. Got an itty bitty screen. Okay. Hood liner is actually in great shape. It's starting to give away at the fronts a little bit. But look at this. Vortex 5.7. Yeah, baby. Clean, clean, clean down to the frame. And clean, clean, clean. I'll try to show you in the morning too at a different light. But 2000. Plenty of power. You know what? I'm going to check something. Bulbs out. Okay, well that is going to be your interior video. You can give me a call anytime. It's Nathan. It's 406-546-8748. And... Uh, Looks like it's got a new AC compressor, and the AC is ice cold. Um, I think my camera's overheating a bit. So I'm going to try to show you the interior options real quick. Where we've got that down. Fires up nicely. Check that AC on. Okay, windows. And this one auto downs. This is regular thing. Backwards. And they go all the way down. Got like some baby window. Out. In. Up. Down. That one over there. Out. In. Up. Down. I say see cold, man. I like it. Trailer brake module or what have you. Um, I know this. Great truck. And these trucks go. Put back back up a bit. I think that's for a thermometer. I'm not sure what that's for. But it's not working that part. I think there's a thermometer in that mirror. Um, this side is okay. But the top is broken off. So that's where we are. CD player. Cassette player that is locked code for that and that's the deal horn works <laughs> and that's the review that's the interior review got to help that window up a little bit on the back it stays up just fine and all but you got to help it up a little bit and i just kind of grabbed it while i was hitting the window switch it worked fine it goes down great but that's the truck it's 2000 350 I'll say my mom's GL450. GL? What is it? I don't know what it is. I want to show you a video though. And that's that. Check out my channel. Lots of videos on my channel. Bum, bum, bum. Lots of videos on the channel. That's my woman and my mom. It's their, my mom's 50th anniversary, mom and dad. And that's the deal. Gotta go in and have a bite to eat or something. This truck is nice, this truck is clean. If you're interested, it's cheap. You won't find a better deal. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. You can look up that and find all kinds of pictures. And bam, make sure and subscribe here on YouTube. I'm moving everything to Montana and getting all my storage gone and getting my Montana place cleaned up and moving along. So that's the deal, that's the thing, and we'll talk to you. How you doing?